and here we are out in the country or is it the country as we roll up to Beckley's RV which has been around quite a while and for me quite an incredible adventure that you're talking for me 12 years it took 12 years to finally come to closure to buy an RV and to buy I should say more of a camper um, 12 years later and how buying this F-450 truck in Florida now makes more sense than ever which is just incredible. A beautiful day. So hopefully it warms up a little bit because it's well it's 55 degrees up here. Wow. Chilly. And who has a nice house? So that's a newer house. That was never there. So I wonder who's I wonder if that's Kelly's house. Probably. The owner of this place. I don't think he'd be right here. Yeah, I know can't blame him, but he Maybe. lives here. I think he'd have a nicer house. And here we go. On, when, where's my trailer, right? It should be in the back. As we roll into the Kelly's special. He runs the Kelly special time. All right. So we're going to go in here, go inside, give him more money, get all the paperwork settled. And then the adventure of the overview of the camper begins. They tell me how to operate the trailer, move the trailer, blah, blah, blah. And Kiefer, is he the good luck boy? Is the Kiefer boy a good luck boy? I think he is. You little stinker. All right. Let's get on in here and check out the... The Beckley experience, right? Okay, gave him the money. Now we're just hanging tight for us to get the final show around on the camper. The kid is bummed because Kiefer has a tick on him. <laughs> You're making it sound. She's sad because poor <laughs> Kiefer boy has a tick on him. So she's kind of just chilling out. And, uh, and as we are here at Beckley's RV, I mean, this place here, I just got done talking to finance guy, really cool guy. And you know what? They just, it's just nonstop. He's like, we're selling RVs every single day. And this is the number one RV dealer in the, in the Maryland area. So anybody up looking for a really good selection of, uh, RVs? Yeah, baby. Um, yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Is Kiefer invited? I can. Yeah. So Keefy is going to come along. Keefy boy is special. And if your dog isn't special, then you shouldn't have a dog. Because they're special. Even though he's high maintenance and trouble, likes to eat everything he gets his hands on. All right, so Sherry here at Beckley's RV is going to do the final Iceman walk around. And, you know, for me, I'm oblivious to what's going on because I've never done this before. And for Sherry, 12 years later, she finally has a sale out of me, which is cool. So for me right now, I have no idea. Is this thing like in the other lot across the street or it's on this lot? It's over here. Right, right over service. here. That's service across the street. Okay. So. And our used lot. All right. So this is a, so for me, I'm, I'm looking at that like, oh, it's a solid. No, no, it's not that one. Um, all right. This is, man, you must do that. How many steps do you do in a good day? I don't know. It's seven, 7,000. What is that equivalent to? Two miles, three miles? Oh, yeah, at least. Wow. That's so when you get home, oh, wow, there it is. All, see, this is, this is so cool because it's all nice and pretty. I only wish I could keep it as pretty all the time, but this thing is all energized. We're going to get the real deal now. The real deal because you know it's not easy for the uh, salesperson because you have so many units and it's challenging to show them every little detail and aspect because it's not electrified but now it is yep. Yep. All hooked up. so and i'm the newbie so that's so cool it's like for me i never knew it had led lighting on the awning i wouldn't know that um and we're going to the back door i'm gonna put the uh, 
Okay, so I'm going to do the walk around here. And all right, look at that Winnebago. So see, for me, my real my real goal eventually is I'm going to get the diesel pusher. That's what I want. This is my real goal eventually. That's the goal. You fit the character. I fit the character. So here, so they got the Onan, got the um, sliders that have come out, and you know it's like if you're, if, you know, what do you do if your slider doesn't go back in, right? Um, really cool. Look at here, it has a little light back here. Um, they definitely did a great job of cleaning it up. That's for sure. And you know it's pretty cool. You know this this is white, but it has a lot of dark trim to it. So it really will kind of blend with the property. Hey, should we sleep out in the camper tonight? Wow. You know, Chris has offered me his uh, McGriddle grill and his Weber grill. I need to go get that. And so this is called the Grand Design. And right here, this is pretty cool. So look here. So you can go up and down. You don't have to do the jack thing. The jack thing, don't, don't, don't do anything. I'm not. I'm just yeah, so see, you can go up and down. Um, the propane tanks are all filled. And I'm not going to do anything because Sherry is the captain and she's going to take charge here and make sure that we behave and listen to her. So do you mind uh, me videoing you as you share this experience or is that going to bug you? Yeah, I really don't want to. Okay. All right. Wow, wow, wow. I don't think I qualify. Jeez. I mean, this thing, this is a lot. A lot. My friend Chris was warning me that, hey man, you're going to need my help. Probably will, but... Sure, he's doing a fabulous job, but it's a lot of information. <laughs> and if you're a newbie like me, it'll take a little while for it all to kind of sink in. But here we go, and she's doing a great job, and I talk too much. Wow, we're two and a half hours in, and we're still not done. Two and a half hours. Do I qualify? Wow. I know one thing. Wow, and wow, and wow. Boy, so much information. So much time. Wow. I mean, good Lord. I mean, this is going to be, this will be a five hour adventure today, at least. Jeez. All right. If you get up into the camper and do the thing, kids like, Hey dad, close the door because, uh, it's cool, but it's toasty warm in here. Look, look who's hogging all the freaking chairs. Where do I sit, right? Oh my gosh. I mean, it's just so much information. This is like going to an RV training school. I mean, seriously. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, come back here. And you know what's interesting is it'd be pretty cool. This this back end would actually just raise up on its own so here's a whole nother project oh poor baby um it's just a lot of a lot of information man it's a lot of work <laughs> yeah Woo. hey here's an idea i'm gonna kick back out here I'm gonna chill out here Take a time out. There's Keefy boy. Here is the back patio, which, wow. <laughs> it took a while to figure this out, but it's pretty cool. So you can hang out in the back of the camper. And, uh, wow. Oh my gosh. I'm done. I'm exhausted. I just spent four hours. I'm not embellishing to you guys. Four hours of going over this new camper RV. We haven't even hooked it up yet. We're not even home yet. I mean, this is going to be, this is going to end up being a, realistically, from the time I left my house this morning, the time I get home, this is going to be an eight-hour day. I've just picked up a trailer. Wow. And we didn't get lunch. We should have got lunch. I know. We should go up the road and get lunch. Oh my gosh, man. We should. Huh? We're just done. Information? Woo! Yeah. 
gosh, what do you do? What do you do? We just spent four hours listening to an overview of your camper. You go to 7-Eleven, you go to 7-Eleven, you get a big gulp and a big bite and a big attitude. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> you have to begin the true beginning. You just own a camper of how much work it is to have a camper. Yeah, I know. Hey, anybody out there watching my channel, like, yeah, man, you have no idea of how much work it is to own a camper. Kind of like owning a boat. Sounds like it's worse. Or is it? Wow. All right, so here we go on the first camper towing experience for the Iceman. And let's see how we do. I like that electric jack. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to push out my mirrors. First thing I'm going to do here. And ask her how the height is. Second key. How's the height? The screen is so dark. I just don't get it. You know what I mean? I just can't see it. Can you see that? Well, just keep it there. You'll have to adjust it. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is crazy. But that thing will definitely go up high enough. But how much does the truck squat? I don't think a lot. I think we got it. I like that. Okay. So, let's see here. So does this go up much further? I know one thing. I love this feature. <laughs> That's huge. I think we're pretty good. Alright, so let's see here now. What starts to play out here? Definitely like the uh so let's see how much the truck starts to squat. Well, it's one thing for sure. It's nice, but it's slow. <laughs> I've never ever used one of these. I just hear they break. Oh, here we are. Here we is. I finally did it. The Momentum G-Class Grand Design Tool Hauler Camper. 31 feet. It's 36 feet. Whatever. We just spent the whole afternoon here at Beckley's RV with Sherry going over every fine detail of this trailer. I don't know if I qualify to be a camper. There's a lot to this. I mean, there's so much to the information of owning a camper. Wow. All I can say is wow. But we got the F-450 hooked up, and I think we're okay. But we're going to find out if we need a sway bar set up. I hope not, but it's a possibility. But anyways, here at Beckley's RV, this place just rock and rolls. And they did a great job setting it all up. She's all been inspected, gone over. Now it's time to take it home and to see how this truck handles this nice trailer and I get it back to my property. So for all those watching my channel, more antics and adventures to come. Stay tuned. All right, we're leaving. You know, this this squatted this dually a little bit. I borderline need my hitch to be up just a little higher because this thing's just a little... But, you know, if I put my bikes in the back, that'll all change. All right, we got to go. This has been a long day. All right, the big F-450 is pulling the big old camper right now. We've got about 10,000 pounds behind us, and so far, she feels good. Truck and trailer feel good, but we're still not at real high speeds. And for me, I don't think I'll ever really know the personality of this trailer until I have my motorcycles and the rear, the tail. And then, you know, what happens with that this thing doesn't level out you get that back end that starts walking all over the place but right now so far she's pretty damn solid but I know I got a lot of material behind me because I can just kind of feel the wind resistance on this thing but one thing for sure thank goodness for the Ford F450 because this is definitely the right vehicle for this trailer but what an afternoon I mean I'm first of all the sales lady there Sherry she was she did not want me videoing the whole overview which it wouldn't have been worth it because it was basically close to it was th over three hours 
over three hours of walking around that trailer. Yeah, three hours. So it would never been worth the video time. And she, her concern was she wanted me to be really focused on all the things that she's talking about. I agree. So, you know, plus I'd just be burned out beyond burned out of just, you know, the, the, the camera wouldn't even be able to handle all this stuff. So anyways, right now, truck and trailer seem well. Um, the size of this trailer takes away your um, blind spot detection. So that's interesting how this got all set up in the truck. But um, overall, pretty cool. And the good news is the trailer is bigger than my car hauler, but not radical. You know, it's about another five feet longer, I would have to say. So it's not too bad. I can see down the line of the trailer. And the good news is I'm at 70 miles an hour right now. And that trailer really is not doing anything uh, funny, which that's really cool. It's very solid right now. So, uh, so, so far, very good. But let me focus on my drive. So, the daughter's like, hey, Dad, if we didn't have, how would this all play out? Well, I tell you one thing, I would only hope I still had my F-250 Tremor truck because had I sold that like I did for that other F-250, there's no way. There's no way I'd have the confidence of this truck, of that truck pulling this trailer. No way. I mean, this is very stable, very confident. That new F-250 I bought, no way. I just, I pulled a 6,000 pound car hauler that doesn't even have the height and the wind resistance as this does. And this is borderline double the weight. And this thing's going down the road with no problem. But that other truck that I just bought, nah, just forget it. So it would have been, a, it would have really been kind of a sad story in so many ways that I got rid of a, a better tow truck. But the F-450 is the answer, so that's what I say. Getting rid of the, the power boost for this is the, is the answer. Now, you know, could you push the power boost to its limits and tow with this? You can, you could, but you're gonna know it. You're gonna need a sway bar kit. So now it's getting home and getting a truck situated. And, eh, yeah, yeah, you get a long day, long day. You know, you go out and buy stuff, it's not easy, but these campers, there's so many, in so many ways, they're like owning a boat, because if you don't stay on top of them, they're just going to deteriorate and fall apart, and they, they, it was over and over again, the conversation of checking all your seals, operating things, running things, you're supposed to run the, uh, the generator like two hours every month, you're supposed to run the generator 24 hours a year for it to be looked at as, as a serviceable. I have no idea. I haven't talked about that. You know, this is all new information for me. But one thing that's not comforting, though, is um, three months to get the camper serviced. So if anything breaks this camper, it's three-month uh, waiting list to get to the vehicle. Did you just hear that? Yeah, that wasn't talked Watch about in the sales presentation. Um... You know, that was not talked out. It was not that talked guy. about. I'm all right, baby. He's all right. We're okay. Um, so, yeah. So, if somebody's going to go buy a camper and it breaks, um, you're probably out for the season. I mean, it's if you got a camper and, and let's just say it breaks in June and you really want to use it for summer months, I have to say you're, yeah, S-O-L would be the word I'd use. So, yeah, as we have camper. He really has been a good dog. And yeah, are we excited? We're, we're tired. <laughs> I'm worn out. <laughs> we're worn out from listening to, you know, over four hours of, of talk about a camper trail. I can only imagine. Watch out! We got it. The kid's freaking out. I mean, but here we are in front of lockdown traffic. Look at this. It just doesn't end. So now we're back to reality. The kids saying, hey, Dad, gosh, it's never going to end on the information on the freaking camper, right? Yeah. It was just one thing after another. You really Oh, my was. gosh. You know what's pretty, what I'm impressed about right now is this trailer isn't as burdensome as I thought it'd be. Now, that could possibly change. I really won't have that final answer until I have the Harleys in the back of the, 
um, camper. But right now, because that's going to be an extra 2000 I mean, it's going to be conservative 1,700 pounds of weight. You know, once you start putting gear in the trailer, I mean, there's going to be another 2,000 pounds of gear in that trailer between motorcycles and gear. So once that happens, I can honestly say this is a pretty cool package and the trailer is set up good. Watch out. But for right now, it doesn't feel burdensome. It doesn't feel like it's, you know, a challenge to maneuver this thing around. And of course, it's not a 40 foot fifth wheel camper. Yeah, but it's a 31, but I mean, it's really 36 because of your uh, tongue. I mean, you want to, I would say conservative three or four. Oh, yeah, he's checking in on us to see how we're doing. And it's like, yeah, we're uh, we're tuckered out, you know. So, Watch out. And for all this, so, yeah, this is number what, 12? Officially, this now makes it, I think, 12 vehicles that I have purchased. Yeah, hello, the hello day conversations. Hello camping, hello reality, hello yikes. But are you excited? I'm Do you very like it? Excited, yes. How is the heat? It was hot. I wouldn't use the heat. I don't use heat in my own room. Oh yeah, right. Okay. So how was the uh, couch? Oh, so I wasn't really tired at all today. But when I sat on that couch, I felt like I was on a cloud. Kiefer likes it too. Well, that's why I almost fell asleep, because he makes me really relaxed. Well, and it seems like that's pretty tough material. Yeah, it's not going to be scratched up by Keeper's butt. Right. Like, I could sleep on the couch, to be honest, and be really happy. Really? I don't want that, though, because I have no privacy. Yeah. Watch out, watch I out. Know, I know. Watch out. It's just never ending. In the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, I take my brand new camper home and get slammed, right? Well, that's what I'm worried about. Watch out! That's the truth. Ah, jeez. It just doesn't end in the D.C. area. Yeah. yeah, everybody's gone broke. Nobody's got a job. Everybody just drives on their... Everybody just gets in their car at 5 o'clock because they have nothing to do for the whole day. <laughs> I mean, you know... Yeah. What's the what video is posted today that everybody's on broke? I know I talk about that too much, don't I? Just focus on you, Mr. Iceman, and the camping adventure. So do we sleep out in the camper tonight? Yes. <laughs> really? I want to. Really? really? Bad. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm not even kidding you. Okay, awesome. All right. And I want to wake up to the smell of bacon. <laughs> what? Okay. I don't think we have any bacon. Well, we can make those bacon turkey or those bacon uh, Kirkland uh, egg sandwiches. No, I would wake up to the smell of bologna. Yeah, well, now we're bringing this thing. Oh, we got the whole net, the netting for the birds. Yeah, that ain't getting done today. Wish it could, because they're going to crap all over this damn trailer. Yeah, that'll be the next project. Yeah, the bird projects. But I have all that bird netting and Get motivated to put that up that would change things maybe a little bit of traffic broke up here but don't be too confident on that yeah see here but so far the truck and trailer really are handling really well so i'm very uh oh, that's good i like it oh so, how many times have you seen this film as we come back to virginia a narrow bridge and a big ass trailer and don't take out the right rear side of the trailer right yeah it's a really nice day really but it's not real cold but it's just kind of the chilly air as we come down the home stretch the hello to camping and the trailer really truck and trailer really nice very impressed. This is the most confident trailer um, I've had yet, but until the bikes are in the back of it, I can't say for sure, but right now this trailer is so confident. I mean, the truck and trailer truly, I mean, there's no sway going on, no dancing going on. I mean, it's really rather impressive that this uh, truck and trailer 
are uh, handling the way they do. And I'm just really, you know, I'm not fighting anything. You know, that's the thing. It gets me these trucks and trailers like that. F-250, when I towed that car hauler to sell it the other day, it's just nerve-wracking. It just wears you out because you're constantly um, feeling that trailer walk around on you and you're worried you're going to crash. It's really bad. But this truck here, it's really nice. I want to get some gas for that. Which side is the gas thing on? The left. And is this place got... Yeah, they got three people in there. So that ain't going to work today. Yeah, the fuel truck guys here. What's the odds of that? Traffic, traffic, traffic. For those who watch my channel all the time, this is traffic all the way up to Maryland. So these are people that have been stuck in traffic from about 12 miles from here. And so literally, if you've traveled this road, this is like these, that guy there, he's probably at 45 minutes right now to an hour of seeing traffic to go 12 miles. Yeah. It's beyond believable. And they won't do anything. They won't widen the road. Maryland won't widen, widen the road. It's just incredible. So what's the odds of a guy who has a truck that's stuck in the park in the, in the gas it station? Says no mask allowed? Yeah, because they get robbed. They get robbed. So here I am. I need to get fuel for this RV. And I got a guy here whose truck won't start. Well, with a glimmer of hope, this guy's truck started. Thank God, because for us, this would be a major drag for me at the... Oh, 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 is he moving? <laughs> It'd be a major drag to have to try to uh, back this thing out of here. It'd be very challenging. All right, so I don't even know where that fuel thing is. I think it's like right up there. Right. So this is pretty cool. This thing keeps on overfilling. Oh, there it is. So I'm full. Cool.